In today's video, we're going to show you how to create a webhook using NADN. To create a new node and under the trigger tab, you will find the webhook uh, node. And you'll notice here that there's a section that says webhook URLs. When I expand that, you'll see that there's a production and a test option. We're going to use the test option right now. Uh, we're going to pause for a second here and talk a little bit about why we chose to use the test version of the webhook URL rather than the production one. When we are running in the test version, the URL will only be active for 120 seconds, and it will allow you to see the data as it comes into the webhook. In production, it actually ends up going straight into the N8N system, and it never will show up in the editor UI. This way, when using the test URL, we can actually see what's going on and get a sense for what we need to do. Anyway, Back to the video. Now click on the URL and it'll save it to your clipboard. And then you want to close down the webhook node and save your workflow. The reason we need to save the workflow is so that it registers the URL. Otherwise, the webhook itself will not work. So save the workflow. And then from here, we want to uh, open up the webhook again. And we're going to execute the node. This allows the node itself to catch information. In a different web browser, we'll you paste in that URL that you had captured earlier. And you'll notice that on the right side, it says that the workflow got started and that the webhook actually worked. And we have all the information that was sent back. Thanks for joining us.